is your laptop a lot older than this one and i am talking about it is probably a xp laptop well this one is of course windows 7 but if it's older than this i do recommend you try out linux instead but hear me out there are of course amazing alternatives for example windows 11 custom isos which ensure that your pc can gain a lot more performance we can install windows 11 or older systems but today we're going to try out linux and i need you to try it out at least so today let's get started with that if you go to the link in the description you will find this page and this is ubuntu a linux operating system that has been used by many people just click here on download and then this version after doing that it will go and download to your system another amazing alternative is linux mint itself it is very much just like ubuntu but it has this kind of ui design instead and if you like that you should try this one for example you have cinnamon and xfse and a mate edition and the difference between these is the desktop environment which is how your desktop looks like with the file manager and other things but i recommend that you try out cinnamon edition instead so right here just click on download very easily and then scroll down and then find the nearest location it will then download the fastest for me it's probably like belgium or something so maybe right here i would click on this link right here and then this will download really fast you can also search on the website for example netherlands uh, it's my own country so right here this should be the fastest server to download it with right here you can see that mine are downloading after that make sure that you have a usb and on this usb you can put linux itself and you can try it out without even installing anything so very simply just put it in your laptop just like this and then you have your system right here what i recommend you do is that you first turn it off so mine is shutting down right now after doing this turn on your system and try to press delete or f2 and then it should maybe boot to your own bios and this is not what i'm talking about it also says bios right here but that's not what we need we need a blue screen or a different screen depending on your own laptop but there's also a possibility that you get a screen something like this and for me it's the bios setup but if you have the option for boot device options make sure you press that one because we need to boot to this usb stick right here so after i press that i will get this screen right here and now i need to select my own usb stick and you're probably spamming in the comments how do you make this usb stick well very simply i've already made a video about it but it is called fantoy and here i can easily select any linux or windows i need to install make sure to check out this video where i showed you how to install fantoy very easily on your usb stick and i will be making a new one very shortly which isn't 15 minutes long but i can easily install it within three to four minutes but right here i am going to select linux mint right here and the only thing i need to do is press enter after doing this you will have to choose the boot mode let's do a normal very easily and now we'll boot into linux mint and you can try it out so what i'm going to do is start linux mint and after doing that you will see that it will start up in a sort of command prompt uh window but it should be fine it will go to the os and you can try it out on the usb stick itself which is pretty nice to make it visually a little bit more pleasant i can easily make sure that i load the iso in a virtual machine so you can see it in higher resolution so i can be choosing for linux mint or ubuntu we have already started up linux mint so let me show you linux mint so just like before you will see this new screen so let's go and start up linux mint which also should be starting up a little bit faster because it's on my main system but of course in a virtual machine so you can see that you get something like this don't be afraid this is the kernel and the kernel is actually linux starting up just like the boot screen the logo windows logo you see in the beginning of windows it's the same on linux but you get a lot more detail i'll be very shortly showing you linux mint if you like this one you should download it but i will be showing more of ubuntu because i think you should be going to ubuntu instead it's way easier for older people and everything like that 
There you go. The OS is loaded and started up. You just haven't installed it yet. It's actually only booted on your USB right now. I would just increase the screen size just like that. You can right click on the desktop and also change the display settings. Linux is actually pretty much the same as Windows. And this also has this taskbar, which you might prefer. So right here, I can easily change the resolution to my own screen, which means that it looks a lot better. It looks more like my own main desktop. You can easily change your background by doing the same. Right click on the desktop and you can choose any background you like. Do mind that it should be a lot faster if you have it on your own system instead of in a virtual machine. So it can be very different. Of course, Linux can be very beautiful. Here we have Firefox very easily. Nothing special about it. It's just Firefox itself. It can also change the icons if you want that. They're very nice animations. So if you right click on some items, you'll see it, it acts the same as Windows. But the best thing about Linux is of course that it's open source. That means people are always trying to improve it with security updates and everything. And everybody's just giving their opinions and they get changed and it's a lot better. You can see that this is Dutch because of course it's connecting to my own servers. Uh, right here we have Google. I can easily just go to youtube.com and you can see that it also loads up YouTube without any problems. You can easily just watch your videos here on already. It's just going to take a while. It's a virtual machine for me. So right here I have a short feed. I can easily just scroll through here and it ain't no problem. It's just uh, a desktop. So that's amazing. But yeah, to install Linux Mint very easily, just click here on the desktop and you can choose to install it on this system. And yeah, if you want to do that, then you should. But you can pretty much do anything you want in this tryout version, which is pretty amazing. And to get apps very easily, you can actually click on this icon, which is the start menu. And then you can easily uh, install some applications. There is a store. And there is also some nice support. Well, it's not loading. Oh, here you go. It is loaded. It's called Software Manager on Linux Mint. You can actually search in, a, in the Start menu. And then after searching for Start Software Manager, you can easily install everything here. Uh, so, for example, we can install Watsi, which is a web client for WhatsApp. So you can easily just use WhatsApp on Linux. And there are also a lot many other things here. And it's exactly the same on Ubuntu. But Ubuntu just looks different. A different UI, but it works the same. So if I switch it to Ubuntu right here, I can also try it out. And it is pretty much the same. Try, and, try or install Ubuntu very easily. The same startup. By the way, while we're waiting, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. And check out our prom promotions to the uh right right here because we're trying to do our best and uh grow as a company while we can teach you anything tech tips health advice uh how to make your games and everything like that all in creativity online but yeah let's get started with uh, ubuntu it's gonna take a while but not too much of course and like i said the reason why i'm showing it like this and not with my own laptop i have right here is because it looks a lot better for you so after starting up you will see something like this and ubuntu is a little bit different it immediately wants you to install ubuntu but you can still try it out you can just close this window and it ain't no problem but right here it's going to ask you some questions and after you do that you're going to install ubuntu but you can easily quit that and do it later and uh, right now i pretty much have to try out uh, ubuntu and here you can easily see that it wants me to install it so you can check that out if you want to so right here we have firefox it's all the same only the software manager is now called app center which is the same you can easily install your apps here and if you ever can't find it here you can easily just search on Google and ask anyone else about it. Or just comment down below and we will help you with it. For example, Chrome. We want to install Chrome. Well, you can see that some things are not directly here. For example, Google Chrome is not directly here. So let's say you want to use Google Chrome. Let's go to Firefox. Very easily, the browser is already pre-installed. So after loading, just search for Google Chrome download and then mention Linux do mind and this is all dutch so let me change it all to english that you have to mention your own os for example ubuntu or linux mint i recommend that you always search for ubuntu or debian because linux mint also runs on debian debian is a repository 
this is where you get your apps from and it all works the same with ubuntu debian and uh linux mint so right here we have set up chrome browser on linux very easily you can actually already install it on um, the page itself i know this so right here we have google chrome and then download right here if we click on it click on download we easily see it it tells you that you have linux we have the debian ubuntu version and not the fedora and open source version so make sure you get the dot deb file accept and install very easily above here you will see the downloads let's go and click on the file open it with app center and after doing this it will open app center there you go it's gonna take a while but it is gonna load after doing this you have google chrome stable potentially unsafe so always be sure that your website is really google.com and everything it has to be secure because i'm downloading it here and installing it on my system let's click on install and yeah we want to do this we are sure about it so let's authenticate it which is just like the administrative privileges of windows after doing this it's going to install and then we have chrome on our linux so it ain't no problem if you want to use different apps we also have games and with gaming there are limitations but there are also uh, some perks for example that uh, some games for example terraria are made for linux and they can easily run but not a lot of people play those games but there's also support outside it pretty sure it was called lutris I'm not sure if it is in the app center no it's not but let's search for lutris so if you're a gamer make sure you check out lutris an open gaming platform if you want to game on your little uh, on your linux you should check out this one uh, let me know if i should make a video about it because you can play a lot more games like this if you want to use um linux well where is chrome go to the app center let's go to manage to the left it's popping up some windows so it doesn't matter because i'm still in a tryout um window right here installed and updated no it's not here let's search for chrome you can press the windows icon and then you have the search bar just like the start menu but it looks different right here we have google chrome so let's open it because you have here all your taskbar icons and if you press on the windows icon you will see this one let's make sure that we relaunch the application sometimes this can happen well with the try out version because this is all running on the usb stick and i'm installing things so it is even a chance it doesn't work but on linux itself it does work by the way if you press windows key double you will see the apps list and here we can see every single app that's installed for example chrome but yeah it's probably not gonna load because it's pretty much all running on a usb stick and then your memory and your memory can't really store things for a long time it just clears it after a while so it isn't made to install things on it and i already only have 16 gigabytes which isn't much so yeah it depends it's all running on a memory stick and yeah my usb stick i mean virtually this is a virtual machine so right here we have install ubuntu right here right off my hand very easily you can follow the steps you can either delete your windows if you want to but you can also install ubuntu next to it and it has this option when you're above i think windows 7 or something so make sure that you don't have windows xp otherwise you should probably be moving on to linux because windows will be too heavy just click next um accept everything this is fine keep out layout uh, get your wi-fi make sure you get that update you can do that later you can actually not see the button uh right here but below me uh, you see next interactive installation yeah we want that uh default selection i recommend you get extended selection that's an offline friendly selection of office tools utilities and web browser and this is pretty useful because you want to get uh prepared uh for all things you need on your system and it isn't bloatware right here we want to get both of these third-party software for graphics and wi-fi hardware which means you get your wi-fi working and of course some graphics drivers you do need to install uh your nvidia and all but for that that should work but here we have an additional a media format which means you can for example open um mov files and all and mkv which is a format which windows struggles with if you don't have plc media player but linux has it all built in erase disk and ubuntu uh well very easily 
you can also get a third option which is normally only shown if you have already windows on it so right here i have a beautiful image for you and you can see install ubuntu alongside windows boot manager which means you're installing it next to your windows but yeah right here we want to erase the disk and install ubuntu enter your own name and these pop-ups are all a little buggy because it's running on a virtual machine and my memory so we can call this ubuntu for example we need a password so i can easily enter one it doesn't really have to be strong and it requires password to, uh go my location that's correct and then install very easily don't touch any of these advanced settings just install it like this and it should work and now it is installing ubuntu you can actually use the OS while it is installing and that's Linux so it's crazy. You can maybe just watch some YouTube while waiting but that's pretty nice. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty much possible you know. Linux is a nice operating system and should be trying it out. I've been talking a lot in this video and therefore you should be subscribing because I'm giving as much information as I can about these kind of topics and if you want to hear more about it just subscribe down below and like and the algorithm will know that you have to see more of this i mean people will see more of the content if you react to it so i'm very thankful for you guys so i can make these videos um yeah i will see you in the next one and let me know what you think about linux it's a um, great operating system it's of course loading but it's gonna take too long i will see you in the next one and thank you so much for watching goodbye